It is 4.24 in the a.m., but we got a long ways to go. Hey, are you guys ready to go yet? Let's go. Only 881 miles till we're there. Thirteen and a half hours, but we're here. Hanging out in cabin 14. There's the lake. World famous Lake Athapapascal. Well, after a 13 hour trip, 881 miles, we're finally here. Um, it's not till tomorrow that we've got snowmobiles and someone that knows what they're doing from the area is going to show us a few things. Uh, so tonight we just talked to a couple guys at the resort and they said, hey, take the road out until it ends and uh, drill some holes, maybe catch some burbits. So never targeted them before, um, caught a few of them by accident, but uh, you know, as it gets dark, I understand that they start to bite. So just waiting for the little bit of light that's left to be gone and hope to get lucky, kind of throwing a, throwing a whole bunch of it at the wall and see one what sticks. So kind of a shot in the dark, <laughs> pun intended. So hopefully this isn't the end of the video. Over here, oh, who knows? first fish of the night. Out here burbot fishing on Lake Athapath. Uh, Lake Athapath, Pipsiskow is the preferred term, but we can't say that. So we're out on Athapath, just got out here. We're on this monster burbot chew. Uh, trick to burbot, couple of pointers. You want to pound that bottom. I mean, lift up three feet, let it fall, pound. Lift up three feet, let it pound, fall. Lift up a foot, hold, jig. See if anything comes up off your off your flasher. Now, mind you, a lot of the times with these burbot, we're fishing on it. We're fishing on an angle. Your cone angle, obviously, is coming in flat when we're fishing on these structure like this. So you're going to have a dead zone, approximately, usually one to two feet, and make sure you're working that dead zone. These burbot, sometimes when they're on the chew, they'll come up 10, 15, 20 feet even. But when they're being a little finicky, you know, you want to make sure you're working it tight to the bottom. So another thing is glow, glow, glow. I can't stress that enough with burbot fishing. I don't know what it is, but they love it. Um, I've tried, I've tried the preference of pink glow, neon glow, white glow, neon glow, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've tried all different colors. They just like the plain old neon UV glow. Works like a charm. Uh, we've been out here approximately, I don't know, I'd say 30 to 35 minutes. Already got one burbot on the ice using the same technique of just pounding the bottom, lifting up, they come and hammer it. So make sure you're working the entire column. We also had a, a bite come in 20 feet off the bottom. Uh, the person fishing missed it, poor hook set, you know, that happens. We have to deal with it. Uh, it's part of fishing. So as we're out here, just remind, remember, work the column, pound the bottom, glow, glow, glow. You'll be successful finding these burbot. How many bourbon have you caught? Lifetime. Lifetime, I've got zero. <laughs> but I, that's that's not the important thing. Not all, you know, coaches aren't good players. So, you know, I, I'm a coach, you guys are the players. Go out there, play the game. I'll tell you the best technique, strategy to get on these fish. For our first night in Manitoba, you saw Austin, he snagged a few. 
Coach had some sage words of wisdom, if you want to listen to him. Um, I mean, for just kind of throwing it together here at the end, I mean, we weren't even supposed to be fishing today. Today was just a day of travel, but we made such good time. We're like, hey, let's go out. There's burbot in the lake. Let's try to catch a few. All of us are burbot rookies. I mean, except the coach. Except the coach. He thinks he knows what he's doing, so good for him. But uh, anyways, tomorrow our trip really starts. I mean, we're on Little Athapap Lake right now. We're going to Big Athapap, and we're chasing big lake trout. This is a windy one. Well, I don't know how good this is doing. It's day two. We're out. We made our run this morning. Let's see if we can. We uh, we're fishing. Um, it's uh, a lot different than yesterday. Yesterday was 33, 34 degrees, no wind. Today it is 17 degrees and 20 mile an hour winds. So we are. We pulled up on the spot, we hunkered down, obviously we were in a shack, getting out of the wind, so we're, just because of the weather, we're setting up on these fish and hoping to do well, so. Here's the secret bait. Got, it's a one ounce jig head, a little white grub there, just a piece of sucker belly there on the end. So, all that is is just white fish belly scaled up that's the secret bait sits down there and looks yummy fish on boys oh, i lost them god i lost them again yeah he's gone oh, i'm struggling we got going, boys. Oh, there's a deep spot there. You got gloves? Do I got gloves? Anybody want to take any bets at the wind? Just flip that baby up. I had a wind set on it. I believe you. Spin it. I would. I would bet it was the wind. <laughs> Looks like the snow had it all the way up to here, so. I had her set like that. I mean, that's the wind set, right? And... Yep. Well, let's see. Maybe he's just sitting on the bottom with it. Yeah. Maybe he's there's got, just a, gloves on. Maybe there's a monster trout down there. We don't know. We don't know. I I know how we're gonna find out though. There you go. I'll tell you what. Let's find out. Ugly. Oh, oh man. You got a line. You got a line here. Oh. Yeah. Oh shit. There's something under. Yeah, there is. Get him. Get him, buddy. Okay. Hold on, you're out of line. Well, that would explain that, huh? Oh, f dude. I hope we get to the. Okay, just take it easy yeah. on this bit here. Is there anything on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna be big, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know it's good when the guy's excited. <laughs> take it easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to go like, like he's got a yeah. better line. So. Yeah, this is like eight pound. Oh, we got him! Dip up! Oh shit. Here. Not I can do. No, just take it. You gotta turn him. Okay. Yep. Still on there? Yep. Uh, there he goes. He broke you off. Look at he broke you off right there. That was a big fish, <laughs> huh buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you put that tip up there? So, hold this for a second, would you? Yeah, absolutely. You so when you're setting your tip-ups, you don't put a floral card or you don't put a monofilament backer on a tip-up. That's a no-no. That's a tourist move. Big tourist move. Hey, take a good look at the tourist. It's a tourist move. 
I only had so much tip up line, so me being dumb, put some mono backer on it. Hey. Noah wasn't watching the flag close enough. I'm just blaming Noah, he did nothing wrong. And then I now depressingly have to sit here. That was a big, big. That was a big fish. That was a huge fish too, yeah. wasn't it? That was, that was huge. It was yeah, you know, the, you 30 know those. Pounds. Probably 30 pounds. At least. Yeah. You don't really fish. get smaller. You know where I get more line? The store. Oh man! Just a little recap on what just happened. Um, we've been fishing for a while, so Chris set out a set line with a 12 inch dead whitefish just laying on the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, he put it out on a tip up that for some reason had 8 foot monofilament backer on it. So that fish ran through all of the Dacon line and into the monofilament backer. And by the time Chris got to that tip up, there was nothing he could do. That was probably a 30 pound plus fish that I couldn't even turn. Uh, just one kick of the tail, snapped that monofilament. Uh, so I guess the moral of this story is have your equipment ready to rock and roll. If you're going to fish for the fish of a lifetime, don't fish with the same line you were using in sixth grade. So. Well, I'm here in the shack by myself. Uh, Noah's been dipping in and out. He's our, he's our guide for the day. We'll go over and see what those other two yahoos are up to. Buddy. What's up? You feeling better? Not really. <laughs> I mean, on the outside, I'm trying to, you know, keep a level composure, maintain like I'm a normal functioning adult, but inside, I am, I am slowly dying. This might be the worst day of my life. I mean, that's all I got. Fucking tourists. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I gotta say. <laughs> well, it's coming. How's it feel, buddy? It feels. There we go. Dude, this might be a trout. It feels it's still light out. It feels decent. This might do that, or it's a big burb. Oh, there's some head shakes. Oh, see it? oh, I, it just flashed past the hole. That's tight on my drag oil. You want over here or what? Yeah, hold on, right by the door. Trout, it's trout. Is it? Yep, it's trout. Not a big one, but okay. it's trout. Is that? Woo! Is that yours? Grab it, trout! I got him. We got a trout! Woo! Pull that hook out of him. We got a trout! That was hooked nice, actually. Oh my god. We did, you guys. I guess staying out late. Staying out late was the ticket. We got probably a well, 30, maybe 28 to 30, 40 inch trout here. Dude, that's awesome though. That's awesome. We haven't got one all day. We waited. We have out. literally been out here for 12 hours. All day for this fish. And we just got him. So this is pretty exciting. I know it's not the biggest trout you've probably ever seen by any stretch of your imagination, but this is a big trout to us. I lost the fish of a lifetime today, and I have to settle for this, and I'll take it. Fisher. Although, I don't got a 